get a review and, and take a look at what we currently have and how we can enhance that. Those reviews could lead to security changes in one school district. The superintendent wants to make sure parents can breathe easy when dropping their child off every day. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Monticello schools already have security cameras like this one. You saw it there in all of its buildings, plus school resource officers and buzzers for locked doors. WCI 3's Amanda Brennan is live in our newsroom. Amanda, that's not good enough for this superintendent. He wants more. That's right, and Adam Clapp says that's because of recent school shootings we've seen across the United States. His team is looking to install an extra set of doors leading into the main office before you get into hallways that lead to classrooms. They also want more cameras and permanent resource officers. Right now, an officer is in the building twice a week, but Clapp says the police chief could fill in the gaps on other days. He says district leaders meet with the police department regularly to review protocols. Clapp says they always want the best for their students, teachers and staff inside, all while keeping social and emotional well-being in mind. We have a lot of supports during the school day for our kids to make them feel safe and secure and ultimately create that safe learning environment. But we also wanted to let our public know that we're aware of what goes on in society and, and making sure that they understand that we're currently uh, doing all that we can to ensure the safety of their students while they're in our buildings. He says the school board has talked about these ideas already and the topic is still on the table. Architects will study the entrances to best decide the next steps and leaders will meet to review the number of cameras they could add. Now as for when those next steps will happen, Clapp says the architects will meet within the next few months. Then the board will weigh possible options over the summer. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Amanda, thank you so much.